Ignace Council has opted to fill its two vacant seats by appointment rather than calling a by-election. The recent decision came three weeks after the resignations of the former mayor and deputy mayor. In the same meeting, council voted to restrict public access to council meetings. The bylaw amendment removes public access to council meetings via Zoom and removes in-meeting questions from the public, instead requiring all questions be submitted in writing two weeks in advance. One councillor, Jody DeFeo, voted against the change. She declined to speak on camera, but did say she felt it removed access to council, especially for those unable to attend in person. No other Ignace council members responded to requests for comment. Meanwhile, a former Ignace councillor is speaking out against the decision, saying Zoom meetings are a matter of accessibility for those with jobs or limited mobility. She says the community is livid. Once COVID restrictions lifted, we've seen the, the opportunity there. We decided to keep it. It was important. Um, and it's unfortunate that we've lost that because a huge demographic of our community no longer gets the opportunity to, to stay abreast and current of our council meetings. As a past councillor, I found the, the, the questions from the public portion many a times um, created dialogue and conversation that really contributed to our decision making and policy making and writing. Tucker was herself appointed to council mid-term following another mayoral resignation in 2020. When it comes to avoiding a by-election, she says it makes sense to her for a cost perspective, but she questions the decision to appoint via applications rather than from the candidates list. 